I want to tell about you. I heard you've been telling everybody that Mandingos ain't no damn good. Ain't nothing nobody is selling is worth buying. I'm curious. What makes you such a Mandingo expert? I'm curious what makes you so curious. What did you say, boy? Calm down, Butch. No offense given. None taken. Now, Monsieur Condy, um, I'd appreciate if you could direct your line of inquiry toward me. One, you do not have anything to drink. Can I get you a tasty refreshment? Yes, I'll have a beer. I want a bar. Roscoe, a beer for the man with the beard, and I will have a Polynesian pearl diver. Do not spare the rum. Doc, yeah. I am a seasoned slaver. You are, well, you are a neophyte. I'm simply trying to ascertain if this cowboy here is taking advantage of you. With all due respect, Monsieur Condi, I didn't seek you out for your advice. I sought you out to purchase a fighting nigger at above top dollar market price. Now, I was under the impression when you granted me an audience, it would be to discuss business. Oh, we weren't talking business yet. You were discussing my curiosity. Right day, huh, bright boy? Sun is up. Shining on all of us. You'll pay $500. But practically a one-eyed old Joe ain't fit to push a broom. No, he won't. He's just tired of you toying with him, is all. Matter of fact, so am I. Now, uh, seeing as you won't pay a penny for this picking any here, you won't mind me handling this nigga any way I see fit. He's your nigga. Stone Cypher? That marshal and the bitches send D'Artagnan to nigga heaven. <laughs> the boss looks a little green around the gills for a blood sport like nigga fighting. Nah. He just ain't used to seeing a man ripped apart by dogs is all. You are used to it. I'm just a little more used to Americans than he is. Huh. Now, Monsieur Candy, whenever you're ready. We rode five hours so you could show off your stock. Let's get to it. Well, regardless, Samson's your best. We all know that. You will never sell him. And I can see why. He's a champion. Mm -mm. All three are champions. Samson, the champion. The mother, too, pretty good. Okay, I don't know oh. what this nigga you like. It's all right, it's all right. You have to understand. I do have a little bit of a background in the European traveling circus. Is that right? Hence, I have big ideas when it comes to presentation. Mm. I need something more than just a big nigga. He needs to have panache. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what? Panache. Uh, a sense of showmanship. Showmanship, yes. I want to be able to build a... What is the matter? Them motherfuckers ain't here to buy no mandingos. They wants that girl. Steven, what the hell are you talking about? Hmm? They playing your ass for a fool is what I'm talking about. They ain't here for no muscle-bound Jimmy. They here for that girl. What, what girl? What, Hildy? Yeah, Hildy. Her and Django. Them niggas know each other. He, he just bought Eskimo Joe. Did I... he give you any money? No, not yet, but then they go. he ain't bought Diddley. Not yet, no, huh? But he's just about to buy who he come here to buy when I interrupted him. Thank you, Stephen. You're welcome, Calvin. You brooding about me getting the best of you, huh? Actually, I was thinking of that poor devil you fed to the dogs today, D'Artagnan. 
And I was wondering what Dumas would make of all this. Come again. Alexandre Dumas, he wrote The Three Musketeers. Yes, of course, Doctor. I figured you must be an admirer. You named your slave after his novel's lead character. Now, if Alexandre Dumas had been there today, I wonder what he would have made of it. You doubt he'd approve, huh? Yes, his approval would be a dubious proposition at best. Soft-hearted Frenchie. Alexandre Dumas is black. Mr. Candy. Normally, I would say Auf Wiedersehen. But since what Auf Wiedersehen actually means is till I see you again, and since I never wish to see you again, to you, sir, I say goodbye. Let's go. Come on. One more moment, Doctor. What? It's a custom here in the South. Once a business deal has concluded that the two parties shake hands, <laughs> it implies good faith. I'm not from the South. But you are! In my house, Doctor. So I'm afraid I must insist. Insist? On what? That I shake your hand? Oh, then I'm afraid I must insist in the opposite direction. You know what I think you are? Would you think I am? No, I don't. I think you are a bad loser. And I think you're an abysmal winner. Nevertheless, here in Chickasaw County, a deal ain't done until the two parties have shook hands. Even after all that paper signing don't mean shit, you don't shake my hand. If I don't shake your hand, you gonna throw away $12,000? I don't think so. Mr. Pooch, if she tries to leave here before this nigger loving German shakes my hand, you cut her ass down. to shake your hand. I insist. If you insist. <laughs> 